Hey y'all, Catalyst Deco here with Catalyst Deco Designs and we are back with another video. This one is not the Bohemian Jewelry Armoire. These, this is one of the uh, jewelry boxes that I'm going to be putting up on Etsy by the end of the month or the beginning of next month and I am just working on prep for it. Um, after the Bohemian Jewelry Armoire, I'm actually looking really, really forward to doing something a bit simple. So I found this cool box. Um, I've already taken it apart, so here, let me just put it back together so you can see. The hardware will have to, the hardware will be a surprise because I've got it all blocked off in a, in, in a way, um, but it's really not that serious. All right, let's put these back in here. I really like the fact that this, this one has drawers that stop. I like that. Okay, so it goes, it's, it's like this and then it has glass and it's, it's really pretty. And so I thought it would, and it's, it's also a, pr a pretty decent size. It's got some nice storage. I'm not going to need to redo the lining either. I'm uh, just going to have to clean it out, out really, really well. So, um, but this, this white, this really pretty white, it kind of suggested to me this Magnolia Gardens transfer. So I've used some, some of it already on another box, but there's still plenty of pieces left that can go on this box. And so what we're going to do right now is, is do a little bit of a scuff sand, just a little bit. Uh, it does, it's not going to need much. And then we're going to um, maybe do the first coat of paint. I have to decide on a color though. All right. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And let's just get started. Let's get into it. So the main reason why we're scuff sanding, and I, I have covered this before, but the main reason to scuff sand is, is for adherence. Uh, you just want to, this is like MDF. And you just want to make sure you just want to make sure that um, the paint will adhere to the slick surface. Dixie Bell makes a product called Slick Stick that I could also use for that, but um, I don't want I don't I don't I don't feel like this one needs all that. I'm really looking forward to doing something simple and getting it done in a day. <laughs> Um, I've done this a couple, I, one of the reasons I love small boxes like this is because they're really, really, if you decide to do a simple design, it can be done in almost no time. So for colors, I don't know, I'm thinking, at first I was thinking about doing, um, Blister, because I really love the way that looks, but then that's going to be a lot of weight, um, and I don't really know if that's. So we'll just have to go through and kind of look at the transfer and look at the at what's available. Okay, cool. So there's that. And we're going to use our tack cloth to get all that off later, but we're just going to do that kind of all at the same time. So, and you know, um, scuff sanding, it, it doesn't need to be like super, super, we're just trying to get a little bit of a rougher surface so the paint has something to grip onto. And I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to the sides or not. I actually kinda like the sides as they are. So what it's suggesting here is, cause if I'm gonna keep those sides, the sides the same, I might add like little bits of the transfer to it, but if I'm gonna keep the sides the same, so you got this like warm, deep brown that's kind of a nice color so I don't know and then we've got like green and white and kind of uh, this kind of taupey sort of color right here and a little bit of like this pale soft green in this transfer and then black so that's interesting oh and I'm gonna be using these kind these molds um these are by Zuri ink and it's a really really cute little bee I don't know here let me see if you could I can make it so that you can see the details here. Yeah. And then it's very detailed. So I wanted to use that and it turned out that the little bee, these are really hard to pour because they're so small. But anyway, it turned out that the little bee was almost perfect. I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna shave down a little bit of, of and ends of the wings and things like that so nothing gets caught on it but it turned out that this was like perfect for right here so then I started thinking about like what would be cool because I think I'm going to use a little bit of the transfer on the glass and I thought it might be cool to kind of work a bee in there like that and then maybe one of these could go like here like that 
you know, something like that. Maybe like that. And then I might do like a, a floral arrangement type thing over here. I haven't quite decided on that yet. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Yeah, so it's going to be something like that. And it, there's going to be like a bunch of trans, uh, there's going to be a transfer on the, on the glass itself. And then there's going to be, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I could do something with this cherry blossoms mold here like this one could be this one this part of it could be really cool or I could just take some things apart and make yeah that could be pretty cool actually all right yeah that 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 might be what I do so the cherry blossoms and the magnolia that's kind of a totally different vibe though I don't know if those two would play together in the same garden I'm gonna have to look it up but after I look it up we might do that but the um the molds are gonna go on last because I'm gonna be putting the transfer on and then the molds will go over it. So I have a little bit of time before I have to worry about that. Um, and it'll just, we're just gonna see how it goes. I also have this cool, these lace that are by uh, CC that sh for redesign with Prima. These are really cool and it turns out that like they fit they fit right here and when something fits it feels right but it seems like too big so we're just gonna have to see I'm just gonna have to see how it goes um, and then I'll be like the final phase of, of it once once uh once it's already painted and the transfers already put on and it's already sealed then I'll do the molds these were just here because I also like I also thought about like using these here I love these ones um, I also thought about using those there, but I use them so much that I thought, maybe we, I want to try something new, and I've been really wanting to use these bees. Like, I've really been wanting to use them ever since I got them, and I just feel like the bees with the magnolias, that works really perfectly. So we might keep it simple and just stick to the bees, and, the, and we might not even use the dragonflies. That's not the same vibe, really. Although, magnolias, south, ponds, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can, maybe we can make that work. Um... Maybe we can make that work. We'll see. We'll just see about it. But anyway, scuff sanding normally doesn't take that long. This long, I'd normally be done by now, but I thought I would tell you all about the. Okay. Let's just get this done real quick. Because I'd like to move on to color, picking colors. Um, what I just said about, like, what I just said about magnolias and the south that kind of suggests green and i know i've been using greens and blues a lot i thought about not doing that this time i thought about i thought about going with something anything other than greens and blues because i've been working with those colors a lot recently um and i just i, I i'm a little bit worried about becoming known for just doing blues and blue and green blue and green things um blue green and purple things <laughs> And I don't know if I want that. So, but what I just said about the, like the swampiness and the dragonflies, like the pond, pond, not swamp. Let's go with the word pond, not swamp. Kind of suggests, you know, like a magnolia tree over a pond. And that's why there might be some dragonflies there as well. So maybe I'm going to look and see, because ponds can be like any color, really. Like, I mean... Greens, greens, and the ponds can be any color. Well, I mean, they're, they're, you can do anything with ponds, though. Like, I, I could, I could deal with, like, inspired by, like, koi fish. That could be interesting. Okay, so this, uh, this MDF has a bit of a texture, which is fine. It's not a problem. Um, but I'm starting to see it more as I, as I clean it up here. Okay. I really like this back part. It's not up in the back. <laughs> I will probably do something cool with it anyway, though, because I could do, like, a little scene back here. Um, that way, if someone that were to purchase this and then have it, like, up against a dresser with a mirror, there'd be something cool for, for them to see in the mirror while they were... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, cool. That'll that'll be like a way of like 
making it a little extra, that little extra thing that makes it kind of my work. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then in here, we're not going to, we're not going to paint in here. Um, so I don't need to scuff sand that, oh, but we do need to paint the bottom. And that's real important because there are all these stickers in there. And so I got them off with glue gum, but it completely stripped it down here. So I'm going to have to go in and fix a little bit of it. That's okay though. It's my problem. Okay. Let me just check the backs of the drawers to make sure that there's no more stickers. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Right on. Oh, I didn't discuss on the inside of this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like pond vibes. Like what? Oh, all right. What do you think about what a pond looks like? I feel like ponds really like mossy, you know, and. mossy kind of greens and browns. It's not really the, the move here, though. I don't feel. And then there's like, um, you know, kind of, oh, but that's, I'm, I'm trying to get away from using that. Um, well, I don't know yet. So, we'll just have to see. All right, so now we are done scuff sanding uh, for the most part. I'm just going to use a tack cloth to get rid of all of the, uh, all the super, yeah, see, that it, Got to get that out of there. All of the uh, super loose dust. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so that feels a little bit, yeah, there's a couple of scratches in it from this sanding. That's okay. It was a little bit higher or lower of a grit than I wanted to use, but I couldn't find them. Um, the specific grid I wanted, but that's okay. It's not going to be an issue. At least it shouldn't be. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it will be. Do, 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 do. Everything, every project has its own unique challenges and some things, you know, like I found that some things are, are, um, like it'll work. 99.9% .9 of the time what I do will work and then the one time that I'm trying to show somebody it's the one time that it doesn't work so <laughs> that might be the case here but I don't think so I think this will be fine all right yeah all right so we're gonna clean this again with white lightning after this part just to make sure that everything is completely completely clean I know this is kind of boring, but um, I just wanted to show you that prep doesn't, prep is really, really important, but doesn't have to take forever. So I've only been really working on prepping this for like, I guess probably an hour. Um, and the only reason why it's even taken an hour was because I, I had to clean off this area and set up to do it. So jewelry boxes are great fun for that in, in that way. All right, so here is my white lightning bottle and where is my, oh, there it is, there we go, shuttles, okay, you just have to be careful not to get white lighting in on the, uh, the white of here, because it could, it could, uh, stain it, so let's just go ahead and turn that over so that doesn't happen, there we go. <laughs> okay. Clean, clean, clean. Do, do, do. Clean it really well. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, the difference between prepping an armor and prepping and prepping a um a regular jewelry box, like a small one like this, is severe. There's not that many moving parts on a box like this. There's not that much hardware. Um, there is not a lot of uh, little nicks and crannies and little itty bitty details to contend with. It's just very simple. 
Oh, I'm really excited about what I'm gonna do in the backyard. That little seam thing so that they can put it up against a, a dresser with a mirror. Like that's, oh, that's, that's, I mean, it is gonna limit my audience to people who have dressers with mirrors, but that's not uncommon. So, you know, or, and you never know, like somebody might like having a secret little hidden thing, even if they don't have a mirror to show it. I think it's gonna be really pretty, this box, though. I, I'm really, I really like this box. I found this just recently. I know, I have so many other ones to do, but I found this just recently, and my new, uh, one of my new methods here for organizing my life is to, all of the, the boxes that I can't put away, that don't have a place right now, are the ones I'm doing. That's how I'm deciding what I'm doing. Um, so it doesn't have a place. It's getting done. So we can go in the place where they go when they're done. It's going up on Etsy, which hopefully will lead to a sale. I think it will though. This one's gonna be pretty accessible. All right, so thinking about the idea of a pond. Thinking about the idea of a pond, there are lots of green, different types of greens in a pond. So one thing I love about the Magnolia Garden Transfer is that there is this beautiful green, it has this, the foliage is beautiful and green. Um, like a really, 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 it's got a nice dark, like cool tone green. It's such a pretty color. I'm gonna go ahead and set up for that. And so I will also film that video I'm gonna go ahead and set up for that and then I'm going to mix some paint for you. And then I'm going to come back here and, um, I'll, I'll, and I'll be filming that as well. And then I am going to come back here and paint. And so I think I'll break it up into three different videos. Uh, painting, or prepping, this one. Painting and mixing paint and then applying the details like transfer, um, transfer and, uh, resin details. So I think that's how I'll break it up. It'll be a three-part series. Um, and I'm probably going to do it all today. Okay. Have a great night and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload. Have a great day.